Hello everybody, it's Brian on what I think is Saturday night. Uh, I'm going to do a rare Saturday night video. Uh, why not? Because I have time and what, what else am I going to do? Uh, there was a thread or a challenge started five or maybe six weeks ago by Jakob from Jakob's music channel KRI. It was called something like uh, Alphabet Thread or Alphabet Challenge or something like that and I've watched other people do this and kept feeling guilty for not doing it. So finally, I am going to take part in this thread. So what Jakob does is he uh, gives us a new letter on Sunday. And I think so far they've been in alphabetical order. So no curveballs yet. I'm waiting for him to uh, to change the alphabet up and someone will put the wrong letter up because they're not paying attention. Maybe that'll happen. I don't know. So um, the idea is just to show some items from your collection in that letter of the alphabet. So just a note to Steve at All the World's a Stage. Um, yeah, I do file my records under surname and uh, CDs under surname. So um, if it's Bob Dylan, it will be in D. Let's just say that right away. Um, but I am going to choose CDs this time. So I picked five CDs for the letter A. And uh, I think I might show CDs for the entire, entire uh, alphabet because otherwise I don't really show them very often. And why wouldn't I? So here we go. And the first one is from a band called Asobi Sexu, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I don't know if you've heard of this band before, but uh, this is Asobi Sexu at the Echo October 6, 2006 Spaceland Presents. Here's the back. Of, whoops. Here's the back of it. Oh, by the way, I put a link to uh, Jakob's original video. So this band really is two primary members, Yuki, I'm not going to pr pronounce her last name because I will do it wrong, James, Hanna, and then there's some other musicians here. Those are the two main people. This is what uh, kind of like a shoegaze dream pop band. Yuki was born in Okinawa, moved with her family to, I think, the western part of the United States. But at the age of 16, she went by herself to New York City and ended up in a music career. Oh, I don't think this band exists anymore, I, and I don't know what she's doing now, but it's in this really... All the Spaceland Presents live series, if you have any, are in this terrible cardboard sleeve. And then they have this very basic-looking CD here from the band. So it says, it's a Japanese-sounding name, I guess, because she is Japanese originally. And uh, <clears throat> this is kind of interesting. They're kind of an interesting band. Um, she's a really, I think she's a nice voice. There are 12 tracks on here. I haven't listened to this in a very long time, so I'm not going to be, be able to say too much about it, but um, it's kind of a cool band. And I don't think I've ever seen anyone talk about this band before, so maybe you have. Let me know. And there's no vinyl pressing for this, of course. It's just a CD. Um, so I said, you know, sh shoegaze, dream pop, but there's a lot of effects, like the vocals and the guitars have a lot of effects on them and textures and layers and that kind of thing. So it's, it's kind of an interesting band. And then I'm going to show two CDs from the same, I was almost going to say band, but they're not really a band. Um, it's Automaton. This is Automaton Dub Terror Exhaust. And this is Automaton Jihad Points of order and they're both projects from a guy called Bill Laswell. Bill Laswell is an American bass player, also a record producer. He also owns a record label <clears throat> and I guess you'd even say studio musician. And my understanding he's is that he's appeared on literally thousands of recordings. He has many um, albums of his own plus things that are uh, attributed to a different name. This is just being one of them. And then he's done lots of collaborations and things like that. This is the inside. So let me see if I can get this out of here. So yeah, so this is the first one. <clears throat> so this just has this kind of transparent-ish paper with some art in here. And the first, <clears throat> this one, uh, Dub Terror Exhaust, has four tracks. They're 11 to 12 minutes each. And the, the personnel here are Bill Laswell, Gabe Katz, someone called The Alchemist, and this one says uh, Beats by Sly Dunbar, which is kind of interesting. This came out in 19... Well, they both came out in 1994. The second one is this Jihad one. And let me get this out of here. The same sort of looking um, insert with some artwork. And this has four tracks... Uh, sorry, two tracks. Did I, do you want to know the names of the tracks? You don't want to know the names of the tracks. <laughs> 
but this has two tracks each track is 23 plus minutes each so his music in this in this case is somewhat ambient somewhat electronic there's a bit of jazz funk and world influences i think in most of his music and the interesting thing is because he's a bass player there's a really um the bass is a really important component of this music now it's not like sort of like driving um in your face bass like primus or something but it is propulsive and even on tracks that are very ambient the bass is so present and it really drives the music along it's really difficult to explain but i loved his music in the mid 90s i was listening to pretty much any bill laswell i could find so i have lots of different bill laswell projects around which is kind of interesting so i really i really got into that and i sort of lost track uh, more recently but i think he's really interesting then daniel ash i will take this out of here because it's hard to see Daniel Ash being an original uh, founding member of Bauhaus. Of course, he's a member of, uh, was a member of Tones on Tail, um, Love and Rockets, and of course, now Pop Tone. This is his first debut record from 1990 um, called Coming Down. There's the back. And, you know, this is, I would say, sort of indie. Well, I guess back in 1990, we weren't saying indie, we were saying alternative. That's the music I was listening to at the time anyway. Um, and so, by the way, it's written in this terrible blue ink on this black background, which makes it hard to see. I think this is actually pretty good. The single from here was This Love, as I recall. I think there was only one single. There are three cover versions, I believe. The first one is the first track, which is called Blue Moon, the Rogers and Hart track. And then we have Day Tripper from the Beatles. And then we have Me and My Shadow by Johnson, Rose, and Dreyer, or Dreyer. And uh, I guess if I were to pick a favorite song in here, probably the second version of Coming Down. There's Coming Down Fast, then there's Coming Down, the slow version, which I actually like better. And there are people on here that you may know. If you know the whole Bauhaus, Tones on Tail, Love and Rockets thing, you'll recognize the name Kevin Haskins, who appears on here in a few tracks. Um, who else is on here? Um, a, a female guest vocalist, Natasha Atlas. Kevin Haskins again. Daniel Ash plays a lot of it, the instruments, and I think he produced it as well. This, yeah, so that's it's 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 a it's a pretty good record. This did this did get a vinyl pressing. I've never had a copy of it, but I would, if I found it, I would, I would pick one up if I saw it. And then, for a Canadian <laughs> uh, a component, we have a band called Attack in Black. It's actually written on there. It's going to be very challenging to see it. Attack in Black on the top. And this album's called Years by 1000 Fingertips, which is in brackets. This is the inside. They started as a hardcore punk band, then became more of an indie, indie rock pop band, which is what this is. Indie rock, maybe even folk. Um... This was their third record from 2009. I'm not sure how many they did, and I don't know if they're still around, but uh, I guess maybe the most interesting thing about them is that they're from Welland, Ontario, and I tried to find out if there was any other bands from Welland, Ontario, and I came up empty, but I did read that Paul Beeston, who was the president of the Toronto Blue Jays, is from Welland, Ontario. And I've been to Welland, Ontario. I don't know anyone else from Welland, but maybe you do. I don't know. <laughs> so Anyway, as I said, I may do all... CDs for this thread. They may not do five every time, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, that's um, the letter A for Jacob and for you. And thanks for watching.